Why do we think that we have a special destiny? What do I mean by special destiny? So I've met so many people, dozens, maybe more than dozens, who think that, and who have thoughts, who, who go about their day and go about their lives thinking that destiny has chosen something very special for them, that the forces that be have a very special role or place for them in the world, or them in the grander fabric of reality or society among human beings. To be a leader or to be um, a very special little cog in the grander mechanism that is all that is. So many people think that, many. And when I say dozens, there's probably way more that I've met who think that, who I haven't talked to about this particular thing. But uh, let's call it the prince or princess syndrome where there is a kingdom in the future. There is some kind of role. There is some kind of realm of, of, of statehood or um, of section of society or this world or reality. And them as a prince or a princess is meant to inherit, the, inherit this, um, this section of all that is. Um, and that they're just waiting for that one moment when the universe will flip that switch and they'll become king or they'll become queen or something will happen where they'll know what to do and they'll do it. Now, um, nobody is more important than anyone else. Um, I think that this prince or princess syndrome comes from a few different things. Um, one, and the simplest, though it might not sound like it, is that the influence of, I wouldn't say Western culture, but um, kind of modern consumerism and um, manifest destiny and uh, kind of the Oedipus kind of replacing your father, replacing the former generations in the spots that they held in your ideology um, and the significance that they had in the world that you're replacing them. Combination of that and most of the data points for the future, um, for the reality that we imagine will happen, we don't know, quite know what it is, but we feel like it's there and something just needs to happen. The universe is just gonna send us a signal or we're gonna know what to do when the time is right. Um, the data points for this future reality all come from numero uno, from us. We, we plan our whole reality and we imagine the fruits of our labors from a singular point coming out from us. We don't imagine ourselves as just another line on a graph, not even a point, but just along that line, making up the line. It takes quite a bit of us to make up this line, but we don't imagine ourselves as the line, we imagine ourselves as the data points um, that the lines lead to. And that all the line that comes before that or after that is everybody else, but not us. We are those data points, those significant data points. And the field of data um, emits from us because we are central. Egotistic, yes, but I think that human beings in general have thought this in many different cultures, um, in many different ways. It's not just a modern thing, though it seems to be pretty prevalent now, but you know, we know more modern people than we knew people in the past. We don't know how people in the past were completely. We didn't know them on a person to person basis. Um, we, we want things to happen without having to make them happen. We want things to fall into line and we hope that things will fall into line without us having to initiate occurrences, without us not, not necessarily having to work, but without us having to figure it out. We want things to just happen and we imagine that we will be a part of those things and the, all of the things will just fall into place and that will be right there where we need to be. As human beings, this is incredibly problematic for our individual lives, our personal lives. Um, 
imagining ourselves as being more significant or having some kind of kind of special destiny keeps us from actually attempting to make something happen in our lives to make something happen and in this way hope can be blinding hope can be um, something that undermines our future when we hope so much and plan so little we can't expect to inherit any kind of kingdom <laughs> Um, as individuals, we have to see that we have to learn what, f how to make the future that we want. As corny as that sounds, as cliche as that sounds, and it is a cliche, we have to imagine something that is the lattice work that holds up all these levels of things that we want to happen. There's a whole lot of people who believe in, you know, the end days and, you know, look for signs of the end is coming or it's going to happen at this point or, oh, look, society is about to collapse because we don't want things to continue as they are because we want a big shift and we're hoping we'll come out on top or that everything will change just in the way that we want it. But that's not really how things work. We have to take personal responsibility for our destiny our lives and for what we want to happen the gods god however you look at it fate luck uh, spirits they're not going to carry the weight of this world for us if we want something to happen we have to make it happen now you can enlist the aid of the gods the spirits and magical forces and perform magic um, to help a little bit but people are expecting far too much from these things um we tend to get in our own way materially. Um, we tend to create materialistic energy with our minds that inhibits us from having the material, material reality that we desire. And the materialism that we have in our heads is valuing everything without valuing the work to get there. And thinking that things are out of our hands, that it's, either both out of our responsibility and out of our ability is another kind of materialism. Um, it's, a, it's a hopeful materialism. And that creates barriers. That keeps us from trying. That keeps from, us from producing. That keeps us from, from creating the future that we want to see, that we want to happen. Um, we create our walls through our materialistic thoughts, through our materialistic actions, and we expect external beings, God, gods, to do things for us. We expect prayers or little offerings to work. They help a little bit and magic helps a little bit, but we create the walls, the materialistic energy walls that confine us and keep a lot of that magic and those prayers from all the help that could be siphoned towards us that the gods and spirits want to help us with. We block it out even while we're expecting it to work. You can't make fate, destiny, the gods, spirits. You can't make them care about you when you need them. It takes a lot of developing a relationship with gods, spirits, for them to actually be able to siphon amount of energy towards you. And, you know, you gotta take down those materialistic vi vibration walls that we place up. But it takes a lo long relationships of commitment for gods to help us. This special destiny, whether we th however we think it's going to come about, is not going to happen unless we make it happen. This materialistic world, the reason why there's so many different beings interested in, the mat in this material reality and getting here and influencing things, is because it's very solid. It's, it's not as ethereal. It's not as easy to manipulate energy. Everything is very definite it's very solid it's very it's very light it's very there are lines between things there are spaces there are there are divisions between states of energy states of state matter is energy but much slowed down um but there are more definite like this is a solid this is a liquid there's there's more there's more lines there's more manifestations or more are more there than wispy, than manipulatable. 
And since that is the case for this material realm and these material universes, um, a lot of beings crave the abilities that we have to actually affect things materially. <laughs> we, we call upon them to make things change. We call upon spirits and the minions of gods. And gods themselves could change, but it takes a lot for a god to really put their focus on you enough to actually change your life in the way that we want. But all the beings around those bigger beings, um, they crave being able to change things like we can with our material orientation, with the ability to move things with our hands, to to do all the actions that we take for granted. They crave that ability because it's so definite. They live in realities where things are not so definite and they're easily, more easily manipulated. Um, that's why they can understand us and move in and out of us and and change us in ways, but they crave the ability that we have that we wish them to help us with. It's very strange. Um, and if we realize that destiny is on our hands, fate is in our hands, and you know, ultimately destiny and fate are kind of irrelevant because whatever happens in the, ends up being destiny or fate. So ultimately it's, it's irrelevant either way. But um, our futures are in our hands and other beings crave the place that we have. Don't expect spirits and gods to do everything for you. Take the responsibility that you have as an individual, as a human being, and make the future that you want for yourself. Go out and meet the people that you want to meet. Find the people that you want to find. Get the job that you want to get. Do the projects that you want to do. Make the spiritual progress that you want to make. Don't expect outside forces to do it for you. Um, the responsibility of the material realms, there's a reason why it's kind of cut off from like the causal or vaster areas of just energy and space in general. Um, we are remarkably free here. And with that freedom comes responsibility. And with that responsibility comes a requirement for us to make the reality that we wish to come about. There is no special destiny for individuals. You have to do the work. You have to operate in your life. You have to change things. Don't expect help from the outside. You can ask for it. Don't expect it to change everything for you. And who knows, maybe luck will be on your side. Possible. Maybe the gods and spirits will move things a little bit in your favor. But with great ability, we do have great ability here, comes great uncertainty. And there's no definite, there's no definite destiny that you're bar barreling towards. All of your actions form what will happen to you. There is no special destiny. Don't imagine yourself to be a prince or a princess who has a kingdom that is inevitably coming to be yours, that you are inevitably going to become a king or a queen. Make your reality. Don't rely on anything else. At any rate, I hope this was useful. I hope this wasn't too ranty. Hit that thumbs up down there if you like this video at all, and uh, feel free to comment. That also attracts um, views to the channel. And uh, yeah, uh, feel free to share this wherever you like. At any rate, thank you very much for watching, and hope all of you have a wonderful day.